Hello, and welcome to another edition of All or Not According to Jack with your host, Jack Toledano. And uh, you see my Judas Priest shirt, and you see my drums and amps and guitar in the background. You know what that means, folks. That means it's time for an episode that we haven't had in a while. Seinfeld! Do 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 Anyway, so we're going to talk about uh, Seinfeld uh, Dictionary of Terms and Catchphrases, Episode 8. We haven't done this in a while. I don't think we've done this since we, since before my trip to Ireland back in mid-September. So anyway, so uh, we had a birthday for my wife this past weekend, a milestone birthday. So very happy birthday to my wife, Susan. Love you, dear. Uh, my son Jason came out for the weekend from, you know, to spend a couple days with us. And uh, he he put on, uh, we ended up uh, watching, uh, uh, binging, binge watching some Seinfeld, uh, in particular, season six. So I'm going to talk about some, uh, I'm going to throw in a few catchphrases from season six. So here goes. So first one. Season 6, episode 11, the roommate switch. What is a roommate switch? When somebody dates a woman who never laughs at any jokes, hello, dear Susan, <laughs> but her roommate does, hence the urge to do the switch. Uh, I say that because my the running joke in this house is that my wife uh, watches that idiotic show, Bob's Burgers, and never laughs. Yet she likes the show. The roommate switch. Okay, next one. Uh, season six, episode 12. Different shirt. When a professional sports athlete is traded to another team, hence the different shirt and receiving booze from his former home crowd. Boo! Different shirt! Boo! <laughs> That's a good one, Jerry. Uh, in that same episode, uh, episode 12, re-gifter. One who accepts a gift and then recycles it by giving it to someone else. Two, one who receive a, receives a gift and repeats the name of the gift. Oh, you bought me a label maker. Oh, you bought me a staple remover. I can't. Okay. Episode three. No, uh, season three, episode one. It moved. When a certain appendage makes moves involuntarily, whether intended or not, during a massage. Uh, I think it moved. That was a good one. I think uh, Jason Alexander did a little better than I did. Season four, episode six, during the episode of The Bubble Boy. The term, Elmer Fudd sitting on a juicer. An attractive girl with a very bad laugh. <laughs> and would embarrass any comedian in public that she dates. Synonym. Coco Chanel going out with a fishmonger. <laughs> I, I just, I just love George's long stare to to Jerry when he when he said it's like Coco Chanel going out with a fishmonger. <laughs> All right, two more. Season four, episode ten. This is a famous one. Master of my domain. Person who is dating a virgin is in a contest. Sees a naked lady in an apartment across the street with binoculars and manages self-control at home, alone. Synonym, Lord of the Manor. All right, one more. Season six, back to episode 12. Uh, and this one's fitting. Super Bowl sex romp. One who re-gifts, de-gifts, and then uses an upstairs invite as a sex 
as a springboard for an implied sexual encounter. Uh, like Mae West uh, saying, oh, why don't you come up and see me sometime? Super Bowl, yeah. So, yeah, we have the Super Bowl coming up this weekend. Uh, and I know I've been uh, very cranky about uh, uh, talk about Taylor Swift, and I know she was just on the, uh, what the hell was it, on the Grammys yesterday, and uh, according to some, she snubbed Celine Dion. Not very nice, but... Uh, so here's a question to everybody, and I'm going to bring this up picture up let me get it what would be worse than seeing than seeing uh, Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl I know sitting next to Newman at the Super Bowl would you give me an inch just an inch just a measly little inch. Freebies! <laughs> this is Jack Taldano speaking for All or Not, according to Jack. Uh, I'll be back uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, uh, I'm going to be recording my, uh, my top metal episodes uh, of uh, my top metal albums for 2016. And I will have a guest for that, so stay tuned. Uh, some other things coming up. Uh, a lot of luck going on in the world of pro wrestling lately. So I possibly will have an episode maybe later this week with some guests. We'll see. See where it takes us. Have a good one, all. Bye.